Well, we start with another adventure under the sea in Cozumel. The Rays love dinner time. Where did this black beauty come from? Time to play with the eel. Well, that's how an eel makes a pig out of himself, or herself.
shot at a bird and missed it and said, oh hell, and I'm not start calling him. What do you say? He shot at a bird and all hell broke loose? What? I guess that explains the devil outfit. Yeah. Anyway. Time to visit the beach. Ooh, baby. for a little bottle of it. Oh, smile. Is that a pirate ship? This dates from 1550, the period of the Incas. There was only one recovered. And this is bar number seven. And it weighs actually four pounds, which is nearly two kilos.
Welcome to the Caymans. When I see this, I think of the story from Hans Christian Andersen, The Ugly Duckling. Just beautiful in all their grace. Such a peaceful sight.
There's that pirate ship again. Now let's visit Grand River. Well, just kind of tell me, um, I guess it's kind of common for uh, crooks or uh, b &E culprits, so to speak, to, to trash or throw a lot of their stuff in the, in the river. Kind of tell me about that. Well, today we're down at the Grand River in the Indy Mounds area uh, searching for some weapons that were thrown in to the Grand River uh, from a breaking and entering that occurred up in the Rockford area. Oftentimes when people are unable to fence their products that they steal or unable to sell them to other people, They'll ditch them in rivers, lakes, uh, streams. Uh, the state police has an underwater recovery team uh, for that purpose to uh, search for either drowning victims or for property that might be stolen from a house break-in. And a that's, lot, that's a lot of times you'll, you'll come out here, you'll, you'll waste, well, not waste your time, but you come out here in time and energy, you won't find anything, and then um, the guy would a lot of times say, oh, okay, uh, Right. I mean, so, sometimes it, it really uh, you spend your energy for for nothing. Sometimes right? that's that's true. Uh, oftentimes they aren't truthful with us, and uh, we find out that after searching area we can eliminate it, uh, say for sure that it, the items are not in the body of water that we're searching. Return to talk with the suspect again and find out that well maybe they're hidden somewhere on his property or in a garage or something like that. But we have to at least make the effort if he tells us that he he's throwing these items in the river. Uh, we make the effort to, to look for them. It's pretty difficult uh, combing um, muddy, invisible waters. Isn't yes, it? it is, especially in this section of the Grand River. The visibility is anywhere from zero to perhaps one or two feet. So it's a very slow process. We're pulling a couple divers behind a boat on a tow bar and uh, searching just by hand, really, by feel, uh, the bottom of the river. Okay. And can I get your name for the record? Uh, my name is Sergeant Hillary. I'm with the state police up in Rockford. And we have uh, six divers here total from all around the state uh, that have responded to this particular call. What's your first name, Sergeant? First name is Kelly. Kelly? Yes, sir. And Hillary is spelled? H-I-L-L-A-R-Y. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you very Hopefully much. Hopefully you enjoyed another adventure. I'm Oscar Osbo.